What's up everybody, it's your boy TGK back with another video and today we have a special video as you saw in the thumbnail. Today we got Oud for Glory by Latafa. We're gonna get straight into it, get do the whole smell test, give it about two, three hours, run around, see how it lasts in those two, three hours and report right back to you, give you my first impressions. All that good stuff with the cologne stuff, fragrance stuff, whatever you wanna call it stuff. Let's get into it. Bang, right here, look at that. We got Oud for Glory by Latafa. This has been a fragrance I've been wanting to check out for a long time. There's a bunch of reviews on it, and there's a lot of hype on this. And I'm just like, all right, I want to see what the hype is. I believe the clone is Oud for Greatness, which I've never smelt. And again, the whole... Ooh, look how this opens, dogs. Look at this. Look at that. That's nice. Um, and the whole reason I, I enjoy... Um, these clones, colognes, is because you could get these things for about 20-ish, 20 some bucks. Uh, obviously, it is way cheaper than getting the actual stuff, but at least it gives you an idea if, if you ever one day want to buy the actual stuff. You know you have to come out a pretty penny, but you would know it'd be worth it, right? And that's what I like about clones. It gives me an opportunity to kind of get the scent profile of what these fragrances are called. It feels pretty good. Just like, it feels premium. You got, you got the letters that are kind of uh, protruding, protruded, whatever, however you want to call it. And the material here doesn't feel fake, even though uh, it's kind of like not uh, flush on, on, on the stuff. So it is what it is. It's a clone. What are we, what, what are we really doing here, right? So I've never smelled Oud for Greatness or Oud for Glory. And I wanted to get a cop. I wanted to cop it because it was on sale on Amazon. So I went in and got it, and we about to smell it for the very first time here on TGK TV. And you about to get my live reaction right now. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. 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 It. It's like. It reminds me of like my dad's fragrances when I was a kid, but with like a modern touch to it. I don't know if that makes any sense to y'all. Like, let's say like a mid 90s, late 90s kind of fragrance. There, there's that, um, it has, I'm guessing this is what I'm smelling is oud, right? But I, I can't pick up, I, I'm not the greatest at picking up the little uh, nuances of the smells, right? I don't know if this says bergamot or any of that good stuff. But I can tell you whether this smell is something that I can see myself wearing. I can see myself docking this, rocking this a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? But what it does have, there's this fragrance my dad used to have. Or I think this one is like in the mid notes. I can smell it in the mid, I think, or it's either the top or the mid. Or the end, I, it's it's somewhere in there. I could I could pick it up, but there's this harsh cologne that he had. It smelled good, but it had it's very harsh. Uh, it was like bitter on the edges. This one has a bit of harshness, bitterness in inside of it. But then it like flushes well, like cleanly at the end. It's like clean gasoline kind of vibe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a clean gasoline kind of vibe. That's what I'm getting. All right, let's go ahead and put it on, on the skin right quick. Let's see what this is gonna smell like in a couple hours. Get two sprays and then for good measure, we'll go out in public, might as well rock it all the way out. And um, as Curly Fragrance also always says, don't be a sissy sprayer. So, you know, I sprayed it a couple of times. So we're gonna go walk the dog park, check some stuff out, go do some shopping, come right back and let you know how this performed after a couple of hours. But I'm I'm not like crazy about it, but it is a pretty cool, cool scent, man. I'm not mad at it. It's, it's it is. I wouldn't say it's offensive. I think it could be offensive in a certain place. But it is a really good scent. I can see the hype behind it. It's not like it just takes me back, like to like my dad's kind of fragrance. Just the older fragrance, um, bitter. It has that gasoline kind of tinge to it uh, but it finishes clean I, I don't know if that's making any sense to any of y'all 
On skin, it's way different. <sighs> on skin, is way different than on a strip. For sure. On, on skin, you could, you could pick up the temperature from your body, your body heat, right? On skin is a lot more welcoming than it is on a strip. So if you're into this kind of scent, try it on your skin first. I like, I actually like it a lot more on my skin than I do on a strip. Anyway, we're gonna come back in two hours to see how this actually performed. And uh, yeah, let's skip all that stuff. Catch you then. All right, we're officially back and my instant review two hours two and a half hours later ran to walmart took my dog to the dog park actually cooked some burgers ate that and here we are actually played some video games too in between all of this and overall i think oh well let, let me tell you about the performance everywhere i went i smelled it and obviously i just sprayed it. it's in the middle of the day so it's gonna be like the thing that stands out the most but one thing that I did notice as I was smelling this throughout the last two and a half hours or so is that it has kind of gotten faint in my, my hands necessarily. I still catch a whiff of it every now and then. So it's not bad for a two, uh, two to three hour, I think it's been three hours. Uh, it's not bad. The performance is not bad and considering all that. So I'm pretty sure now it's about to go blind to my nose, but I'm pretty sure if I'm around someone else, they're picking this up. And one thing I didn't notice as I was rocking this, that it reminded me a little bit about this thing right here. I don't know how, but it reminds me a little bit of the Aqua de Joe, the Profumo. Profumo. See, this is like scentsy, smoky, and this one is like more of a harsher, scentsy, smoky, woody, warm spicy this is i mean this is just an all-timer right but i think this one's like trying to play on that and it's it's interesting i'm i don't hate the fragrance necessarily but it is i don't think i'd be able to pull it off i wouldn't say i'm too crazy about the profile of this one the just the way they kind of did this one and the, the, the I read it up it has patchouli in it it has nutmeg it has uh, some other fragrances I couldn't tell you what the differences are but I know patchouli is a very very uh, uh, popular scent and also has lavender in it so from what I read but it is like I don't think it'd be for me uh, I feel like I would have to try this on uh, going out but I don't know how this would do well I don't know if this will get the compliments. I know this is supposed to be a woody scent, a spicy scent, um, but it's not to the spice level of spice addict per se, which this one's like different. It is a different take on spice. Am I hating on this? Absolutely not. Uh, I think there is some, I think there it, it, there is a place for this. Um, and maybe I'm just not a oud kind of guy, even though I do have a king oud which I love King Oud, but I think it's very unisex. This is not unisex, this is straight up masculinity on a, on a different level, different scale. Uh, but I, I don't got nothing bad to say about it. I will probably try to wear this again one of these days and just see how it performs. It's just, it's not something that's like, like standing out to me. And I like fragrances that stand out, obviously. Uh, this one will stand out and it'll, I think, and I'm rambling, right? But I think the way this will stand out is like, you'll stand out, but women will be like, mm, that, that that fragrance is a little too strong. It's a strong cologne. It has some redeeming factors to it, but it's not to the point where you'll be like, dang, man, I can't, I can't wait to put on some Oud for Glory. Again, maybe it's just my nose, uh, but for me, I don't think it speaks to the flamboyant style that I try to portray here. So uh, I'm gonna give it a, another couple of tries this week, rock it a couple more times, and just see how it does. Uh, but 
I feel like the Aqua de Gio Profumo does this a lot better than what this is trying to do. But it, it does have does have that gasoline uh, smoke, you know, scentsy woody vibe to it and i'm pretty sure somewhere out there uh they're gonna enjoy this kind of fragrance again it's just not it, is, it goes too far off into that realm as opposed to the other fragrances i got they kind of mesh uh with different things but overall i like the scent i like it will i wear it not too much but i'm gonna try it and uh i like it i, I bought it for about 24 ish bucks on amazon i'll put the link in the description i have other links in the description if you're interested in other things that i do but anyway, guys, it has been your boy TGK, and this is Oud for Glory by Latafa. Whenever I get another fragrance, I'll jump in here. Y'all let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if I'm really off, if I am off when it comes to rating this one. But uh, overall, interesting scent. Like it. Would I wear it a lot? No. But am I going to try it more? Yes. And maybe it'll grow on to me. Anyway, it's been your boy TGK, and we out.